Public enemy number one in Tasmania, Chase Buford, the Kings coach now infamous for this kick. Chase Buford is headless. No suspension though from the NBL, just a $375 fine for the blatant act of aggression on Sunday. Obviously I'll be paying for the board, uh, a little fine on top of it, but I've got to figure out a way to control my emotions. Buford's Kings eventually prevailed in Game 2 via this game winner from DJ Vasiljevic. DJ Vasiljevic, a dagger! Tasmanian fans incensed so much so, Vasiljevic says he received a death threat via social media. Just a bunch of keyboard warriors, I think, that can, you know, they'd be tough behind the screen. The Kings confirmed today they're pursuing the matter with Basketball Australia. We'll definitely be, be looking into it and making sure that that, that doesn't continue. It's inexcusable in sports. We're here to entertain. These are young guys playing their hearts out. Kings co-owner Paul Smith further antagonised Jack Jumper's fans, saying those hoping for a Cinderella story should acknowledge superior talent. The Jack Jumpers believe the series is closer than it seems. We're gaining momentum again. It would have been good to get game two, but, I mean, as you can see, we're right there. As for Sydney's injured MVP, Jalen Adams, he trained today and will be a game-time decision. I wasn't expecting him to do as much just now as he did, so we were coaching staff was pleased to see how he's moving out there. A Sydney win tomorrow night will mean a first championship in 16 years for the Kings. If Tasmania prevails, it'll be back to Hobart for Game 4 on Friday. Chris Rowbottom, ABC News.